Well, I think generally for the industry, beyond just Miramax, it's incredibly important uh, for a couple reasons. First of all, it's real and it's enabled consumers through internet to be able to access content across multiple devices, not just your PC. Once that road was, was crossed, especially for film, it, it created an opportunity for demand there that wasn't as, as robust previously. It was only in your PC. Second is the economics were pretty good. Uh, you know, the, one of the reasons why it's great to have Ted up there is because he values content and has paid us pretty well for our content. And so having that is, is, is really much different than even three, four years ago where people were saying, oh, it's replacing pennies for dollars. And then the third thing is I think it's very complimentary. Uh, what you'll notice, what well, we've noticed already, is when you're doing a deal for a television uh, avail, that the question about what digital rights come with that television veil are even more important in some cases than the long the amount of period of the veil itself. And we think that's only going to continue as distributors want to provide consumers various platforms for them to be able to access the content that they're licensing. So I, I think it's uh, clearly still the early stages, but uh, because technology will move very quickly and uh, it's going to be incredibly robust for content owners. A lot of people still question whether consumers will, will buy content in a digital world. I think the jury's still out because we haven't provided a great customer service for them to, to make that decision. You know, clearly right now, if you buy something digitally, transactional, it's incredibly difficult for you to know how you're going to use it across multiple devices. You know, somehow you may be able to kludge something together in your home. And uh, clearly, in some cases, you have differential pricing where you pay a higher price than what you might be able to pay in a physical package media world. That just doesn't make sense to me. And I think as the cloud digital locker, where you'd be able to buy things, store it in the cloud with other things that are important in your life, photos, videos, other books, so forth, and be able to access that across any device whenever you want, is one way that we can really understand whether a transactional business will emerge uh, because as an industry, we do need it. I mean, uh, the home entertainment business is still very robust and doing very well. However, if it continues on the path it does over the next five to 10 years, then that will be a huge source of revenue that helps finance film and television that will go away. And so I think as an industry, it's uh, very important for us to kind of lead that charge and to try to get other technology companies and retailers to, to buy into it and to get moving in that, in that way. I think it will be more consolidated around, you know, one to two clouds that people will have in their lives, uh, and they'll be able to access that content as a result. Clearly, Apple will be one of those players. I'm 100% confident that one of the players will be in the uh, will be Apple. But what's interesting is if you look at the smartphone business, the iPhone is probably the most important product created in this country, in this world, excuse me, in the last 10 years. And Apple still only has a 30% market share of the entire smartphone business. And that other players have come in, Google with their Android uh, operating platform, and have been able to be very successful as well. And all boats rise then as a result. I'm very hopeful that you know, m other major technology companies, and you mentioned them, uh, Google, Microsoft, uh, Amazon, I would say Facebook, you know, that those companies also provide a platform that we can ultimately in an agnostic way, offer our content across that, but help galvanize the industry because consumers are going to go to those players where they know they have the most device compatibility, uh, and that second, it's the most uh, easiest way from a consumer user standpoint to get it done. Just in general, for Miramax, this is incredibly important. Actually, this is the first time we've ever had a booth at MIPCOM, which is shocking to me. You know, I find that in these kinds of things, I want to overinvest in the ability to access and to be able to talk to global buyers around the world. I don't, I don't have that opportunity. And amazing, you know, you can talk all about technology you want and the ability for people to communicate through technology, but just being here face-to-face, -face, interacting, being able to show our wares and to talk to the buyers is incredibly important. And I would believe as a company going forward, we're going to invest more, not less, in trying to do that. And that MIPCOM is still the best place to do that when it comes to not only television licensing, but I think over time digital licensing around the world as well.